Venerable Pra Ajahn Ting is the first Singaporean ordained in the Thai Buddhist tradition who has been honoured by His Majesty, the King of Thailand, with the conferment of the ecclesiastical title of Chao Kun Shang. This is in recognition of his personal practice of the Dharma, his leadership of his fellow monks, his support and assistance to his fellow monks, and his Dharma Dutta or missionary work among the people of Thailand, Singapore, and Malaysia. Tonight's topic is uh, about anger. Right? I think um, most of us would like to live in peace and harmony, but unfortunately, we are full of hatred and anger. So, how do we uh, deal with our own anger? Let's uh, Ajahn, let us know, teach us how to do it. Can you all please stand with your palms together? Oh, see that.
Nowadays, all this, uh, what we call it, basic, basic ethics or manners has been forgotten. Yeah? So, it's very important that in this society of human beings, all those things that our forefather has handed down, all this moral teaching, about manners, about respect, gratitude, gratefulness, all this, is slowly, slowly fading away from mankind because our mind has been overtaken by all this materialistic thing. <clears throat> and it's true, we need this material thing to survive in this society of ours. But if you were to look nowadays, those things that we see in the newspaper and uh, all these household problems that arises, it all arises within our human mind. There is a main culprit, right? We are all born as a human being because we have this greed, hatred, delusion in all of us, including myself, right? But we are fortunate enough to be born as a human beings. A perfect uh, feature, all your 32 parts of the body, perfectly good. Uh? That means it's healthy, functioning healthy, very good. You can hear properly, you can see properly, you can smell properly, you can taste, you can speak, and you can react. You have good hands, good feet, and your internal organ is healthy, right? So you can be considering a very, very fortunate person. But due to our commitment, yeah, our commitment in this uh, human lifespan, <clears throat> we, of course, like today the topic is about anger, uh, amity. Okay. In this society of ours, especially in this rat race society, I use the word rat race. I think it's a more appropriate word to use, rat race is always on the run, you see. So during this competition, rat race, everybody want to go for the best. Everybody want to be the best. So in the process of this competition, there will be opponents, right? Instead, of you know educating our children properly a moral way we have already put up this kind of i should say up to you to is is individual to think about it this kind of thoughts in these kids from small you see and most of the things that we taught to our small children very, very rare we talk about morality. We talk about, ah, oh, you must be a doctor, you must be this, blah, 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 blah. And worse still, if the parents is immoral, don't have precept, full of greed, ah, worse. Why? They will educate the son, ah, you must cheat, nah. You cannot be too honest. You too honest, people will bully you. Oh, okay, okay. My mother say correct. My father also tell me the same. Every day, you come back, you feedback to the parent. Parents say cannot, must win, cannot lose. This is what happened to our society now. Until we work as a team, but we cannot be a team. Everybody is sabotaging each other. Greed. 
you want to acquire what you can. When you are greed, this one thing, I must win. Cannot ah, sabo lo. So what happened in this event? Anger arises. Ill will has been developed in the family, in the workforce, in the team. So how can you work? Every time cannot sabo, ah, and. People who cannot sabo, I think I'm very happy. Sure, I sabo back. <laughs> With this kind of a healthy kind of a environment, who suffer? Everybody suffered. Everybody come to the office, ah, smile, hypocrisy, kind of smile, hypocrite, the smile. But behind already, the knife take up today. Want to want to poke which part of you? It's true. It's true, and in the end, productivity drop. Instead of getting good knowledge, good uh, everything can be shared up. This fellow, I don't say, I I I keep my thing keep quiet. I sabo lor, want to die die together lor. Ah, you see, so so how are we going to move on from here? That's why patience, forbearance is the higher austerity. Yeah, the Buddha always prays, patience, forbearance is the highest austerity. That means it's the highest teaching in the Buddha's teaching is to practice patience. If you were to look at the Sutta, right, <clears throat> this Saka and this Matali was having a conversation. There's a warfare up in the heaven <laughs> yeah, between the Asura. Uh, and the gods, the Sakka Maharaja. So this this Vipachiti, this Asura king was using this very harsh word, you know, to run down Sakka. You know, to tekan him, dress, run him down. So Matali is a retinue of Sakka. Why you just keep quiet? Don't do anything. Don't punish him. No, you know. Why should we react when we know that this fellow is angry? We shouldn't react. Eh? If we react to his anger, then we'll be tricked. Or you do certain thing, you, you think that by using anger, you can win the other person. You know, to say that ah, I already take back. You hit me, I'm gonna hit you back. So this is no good, eh? Even all this sutta, you see, when we read at the sutta, we always read at what the sutta trying to tell me, not the sutta as a sutta, and 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 you don't know how to apply in your daily life problems. You see, that's why when we read sutta, we must think about it. What the sutta going to tell me? So in my daily life, my hands-on experience. All my problems that I'm encountering now, how am I going to move on with the group of people that is? I don't know why they're against me. <laughs> I don't know why. You see, so you better look at yourself first. Uh, why you have this problem? Why you have this problem? If you look at anger, how anger be triggered out? Because of your mouth, your speech. Sometimes you say certain thing unintentionally. You say about certain thing, and that already offended somebody. And this person who listened to the speech, he holds grudges inside him or her. So he's waiting for his chance also. So when my chance comes, I take come back, lor. So this is the society we are in now, no? Because we are not arahan yet. All full of greed, hatred, delusion is an eye for an eye, huh? An eye for an eye. But the Buddha discourage this kind of doing thing. The Buddha said, no. Don't react, huh? Because you react, you fall into the traps of your enemies. Your enemy don't like you to be happy. They want you to be ugly. 
Your enemy don't want you to be, you know, have all the status, all the fame, all the gain. They want you to have lost the fame and all the quarrel, all the fine, all these things that's destructive to you. So you mustn't fall into the trap. Instead, you try to accommodate. I used to say accommodate. How to make good. How to cooperate, make good, move on. Talk about it. You see, instead of sabotaging each other, it's not going to do create anything that is skillful, there is happiness for both sides. No. But if you practice patience, sometimes people look at you a bit dumb dumb. You know, like you keep quiet, you keep quiet, and you come back home, you cry. You know, why must be me? Why? And then your friend, so stupid, how much is your pay? I say, thousand plus. Change job lah, what for you stay here, stupid. Then, on one side, we thought that we are stupid also, no? But on the other side, if, if I run from this place, huh, then other places also got problem, how? Keep running, nah. Then Singapore got no place, so all sea, how? Go down to the sea, you know, to help to solve the problem. So we practice what the Buddha taught us, patient. Patient forbearance. Okay, bite your teeth, never mind. Stupid, it's okay. But you practice patience. When you practice, practice patience slowly, your endurance on abuse, people trying to take advantage on you, they will slowly die off because why? Everything falls under the nature of anicca, impermanent. You think every day he wants to take on you. No. Every time he tried to make life difficult for you, after some time he also lumbe because like, no fight. You're damn good, you know. How come? How come you're so patient? You know? Try to try all way to kick you out from the company, kick you out from the team, cannot. In the end, I better resign, I go out myself. <laughs> the person who tried to do that to you, in the end, he got to kick himself out. Because this is what we call karma. It's true. And that happened to me in my workplace when I was a lay. Four against one. I was working in Meridian Hotel, restaurant in front. Four against one. Wow. You know why I must, I must uh, want to share my story? Because at first I worked in York Hotel. I fight with the chef. I almost killed the. Sh I, I almost killed the chef with this butcher life. Yeah, yeah. At that time, I was meditating in Pali life. So I go back, go back home. I cry and cry. I say, what kind of meditator? People just go you only angry and they want to kill people. So I then malu. The more I think about it, the more malu I become. I, say, I better resign. I cannot stay. Uh, but my my manager very good. He said, no, you stay. Human being. Commit mistake, change yourself, change for the better. I admire what he told me, but I said, but I cannot forgive myself. I, I must leave this place. Then I make a vow. If I go to a new job, I will bite my tea, come what may. Wow, the road may worse than York Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> worse, worse than York Hotel because my. The French chef, he said, the most, one, eh, the, the fastest to leave the place, one day. Two weeks, the longest, two months. How long can you stay? I said, huh? What, really? <laughs> Start work only, he, F U C K. I said, wow. My father, my mother never come and work. No, why you scold them? That kind of harassment or that kind of, of stressful workplace I'm in, you know. And every night I come back home, I sit and meditate, I got to cry for a while. 
Because why I got to let go the steam. Because very, very painful inside the heart. Then the next day, go back to, okay, again, never mind. Uh, practice, make perfect. Patient. Patient always pay. And my friend beside me, other restaurant, we were in the same kitchen but different restaurant. Always people were looking at me, pity me, like very pitiful. Say, hey, you so stupid. Why you? How much? How much you pay? You change department, come over here. You so hardworking, somehow kind of air from the morning until night. I said, never mind. Like, if I can take his, his scolding, uh, I think I'm better than him. I said, you xiao alo. Crazy or what? Huh? We also want to whack him. Uh. He's called until like that. I said, but okay, what? He's called me, my skin not painful, in, not painful. <laughs> he only scold you, right? But inside my heart, uh, a lot of Ah, you see, this is our good. This is, this is our, we call it uppercut. We have uppercut. The moment we step into the kitchen, you know why? Mindfulness. So as to brush away all this ill will. A lot of ill will arise in me, want to take the knife, poke him at the spot. Many times when the chef was bending down, and child, you see, see, you know? You know, that kind of thought arise, but I say, you will go to jail, you will poke him now. I say, yeah, yeah, better don't. Ah, then, you see, I was there one and a half year. One and a half year. And then one day, he speak to me. Why you can stand my nonsense? I say, now then you know you got your that nonsense. <laughs> you know? You know? And then he want to send me uh, for upgrading to France, this and that. Ah, that is when I throw in my resignation letter. I don't know why. I'm that funny guy. Promoted at that time, then I throw in my resignation. Because why? This is something in life that we have achieved. Uh, we don't conquer other. We conquer ourselves. We are able to overcome our youthfulness, hatred by this way. And of course, at night when we meditate, we radiate a lot of good views. You see? May I be peaceful and happy. Not to him first, not to me. I, until my heart uh, feel very happy that time. Uh, then I psh, pump up. And it works. It works. These are the practice that we've been through. We've been through all the kind of shit. And we come out alive with no shit. And we win the praise of our superior. Because why? Under this high stress tension working condition, we don't make mistakes. We are very mindful because we have mindfulness to look after our mind state. This mindfulness is very, very important in our life. Nowadays, we talk about all this knowledge, external thing. Yeah? But when you come to your daily life problem, we can't solve our problem. We are possessed with all this sophisticated knowledge. All are pre-programmed knowledge. Preconceived knowledge that has been handed down and educated and drained to our brain. To remember this, huh? this is the red tape, huh? the regulator say this, uh, and this is the law. Huh? So everybody can, you know, four square already. You're given the parameter not to think outside the box. So when you think outside the box, huh? your boss don't like you because why? Right? You're too smart. But let me tell you, nowadays, you must think outside the box. Most of our problem, as most of the listeners that are sitting here now, you take our good knowledge and can solve your problem. Please answer. You can't. 
You got to have hands on, hands on thing. That's why this family bonding, eh? family bonding is very important for a family. But I don't see there's any bonding. They bond so much to the handphone then to the parent now. Yeah, the parents are born to the handphone, then to the son now. Same family, they cannot talk now. Different room must use WhatsApp or line. I don't understand why I cannot come and talk, uh, sit down, have coffee, have drink, have a, you know, the kind of casual kind of interact. And be because of that, you see, Japan has already proven life is a failure. <laughs> Japan, Japan, all these kids, computer kids, huh? they, are, they don't know how to interact with people. They go back home, boom. From school already, they look at the screen already. Up the canteen, also the screen. Go to the bus, also the screen. Go back home into the room, bigger screen. Huh? In the end, the parent will be very happy because right, so long, my son don't go and mix with bad company. I'm very happy already. But your son is a robot son. Agree or not? Your son is a robot son. No feeling. Hey, you want to make it? No time. Nah. No time. Anything also can. Nah. It will come like that. Nah. Then you are very happy because not choosy. Oh, very good to fit. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, something is wrong already. Something is wrong already. I keep reminding if they are educated, they can make policy for Singapore. Lots of outdoor activity. Confiscate their handphone. If not, all will be a bunch of sick son and sick doctor. Daughter, not doctor. <laughs> No exercise. Exercise also is an aircon room. I was taken back. I said, what is happening to our society now? Why? What's happening now? Advanced, advanced. The most advanced city in the world now. Number one. Oh, number one. Number one? What's your mind state now? Stressful or very happy? You look at the face, all the face. Mushroom face. Are you happy? Really happy? Sincerely, are you really happy? No. Why? Because there's no nature. We never interact with nature. And we are lack of exercise. Then you say that, what to do? We are here, I know what to do. But there can be policy that more hands-on thing, basic thing. You see? In the end, it will be something like Hong Kong, it will be something like all this country, developed country, but no morality, no hands on thing. Everything is the exercise, their two finger only. Huh? In the end, no muscle. Then the mother also wants you to have muscle. Uh, you take vitamin. No? Take a lot of supplement to have muscle. Hey, my friend. They say, Mama, I got back ache here. You no. Know. Oh, go to the massage. Huh? No, I got stiff, this, stiff, that. Go and exercise uh, for heaven's sake. Lah. People like us, uh, we walk one day, uh, five, six hours walking meditation. You know. And then we take one meal a day. People like you all, how many meals a day in Singapore? Ah, this is one thing. Ah. Second thing, exercise, leg exercise. So comfortable life, no? Econ. Now have all these makan apps, lagi si. <laughs> you don't even have to walk, send to your door. A lot of people like it, you know? You don't inter interrupt with what they are playing, you know? So they, they love it. They say, wow, I'm on my share market now. Wow, not interrupting. Hey, my friend, money cannot buy hell. You will buy you hell, H E W double L. Uh. <laughs> H E A L T H. Money cannot buy. Happiness, money cannot buy. 
But money, if you don't know how to live like a human being, this is what I can see nowadays. Huh? At the very least, we, as a parent, we must lead by example. They say that they don't want to go, what to do. Then I'm not free, I got to do my house chore. You see, all kinds of, ex kind of excuses. And then when something happens, only doctor, lor. Huh? Doctor, never mind, we have insurance, never mind. Insurance cover, never mind. It's cheaper, no, cheaper, no. We pay only how much, and he got this case, or hang, uh, hang. Uh. <laughs> how come we come like that? Why? Is it wrong, no? Yes, yeah, something wrong. Greed. Ignorance. Ignorance. The more I look at it, uh, every time I see new acting to my hand, it's jialan. Making more and more stupid, make me more and more stupid. Cannot write. Don't have to write. Even reading the apps will read for you. So when I write in my temper, my, my monk tell me, I don't have to write reading. Really. I say, shut up. <laughs> I better write. If not, my brain don't work. My hand don't. No exercise. After I cannot write. All with the stiff. I better do chanting. I better do chanting. Brrr, you know, chanting, do a lot chanting. Why? To make your tongue flexible. It won't harden. Move your hand, move your feet so that your brain can work. This exercise is very, very important. That's why, why the Buddha encouraged the monk to go in the bath. You see? Morning walk. At the same time, go collect your food. <laughs> uh, see? Win-win. The lay people also benefit. We also benefit. Huh? As a Buddhist, people will do dana, they buy food. And then the monk walk, they get the food, they walk back. Exercise, they sweat it out. Huh? Good or not? Good. Huh? Why? The Buddha encouraged walking meditation, not sitting only, not standing only, not sleeping only. But now, our lifestyle, because of the indulgence, in all this sensual pleasure. I use the word indulgent in all this sensual pleasure. So if the mom, after hearing the talk, go back home, hey boy, ah, girl, ah, I tell you what, ah, straight kind of scolding. <laughs> you can listen to this monk talk, then you come and teach me, ah, you see? She will teach you back. You see how rude these kids are nowadays. Why? Because there's no interact with the parents. And the parent is working class, no time for them. So the maid, the maid is a maid. The maid don't care about your kids. It's make sure that I feed him, I wash the clothing, I mop the floor, then my, my this employer, them meow one, I always check my toilet, make sure the toilet clean, super clean. He will check the toilet, check the bed sheet, and super clean. And then, same like the son, no? play the handphone whole day. Tung, 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 tung. Who cares? <laughs> you think he will be educating your son? Ah, boy, come, I tell you what is good. No. Then everything you want, lend it to the teacher. Eh? The teacher shout at your son, your son complain to you, you go and scold the teacher. Caning also cannot. This thing cannot, that thing cannot. So how? So how? What kind of ch child, what kind of future we want to groom our future Singaporean? Big head, small leg, small hand, but the finger big, big. <laughs> only exercise these two fingers only. What? That will be the future small kid. Let me tell you, don't laugh. You just take my word. Uh, take my word. Uh, I can not say I can. I speculate. Oh, you quite because we already fifty plus. Our time we walk to school. We walk from Chai Chi to Opera Estate Boys School. We walk. Uh, lucky we are poor. Uh, no school bus walk. So this kind of training we find it very very essential and very, very, we need this kind of 
of things. So there must be a lot of things, you see. Uh, and how this anger arises in your house. Don't have to be in your working place. Why? You do certain things. You don't satisfy the other party. Or maybe you have been instructed to do certain things. Uh, and the expectation is there that you must blah, 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 reach the standard. So if you cannot comply or cannot comply to the standard, the many look at the bum, score already. I told you how many times already. Ah, eh? Come on. Then in the end, you see how anger, how these kids, how these parents, you know, this anger arises within you. You blow on the other person. The person absorbs by anger. You think people are very happy. They are not happy. If they don't practice Dharma, don't practice patience, forbearance, huh? they will hold grudges definitely. They will hold grudges. They will react and retaliate by one way or the other. Worse still. That's why if you use kindness, kindness, metta, compassion, kindness, forgiveness, gratefulness are different really. The approach will give you a different kind of result. Different kind of result. If you're kind, the kindness will touch the other party in no time to come. Yes, maybe because of your ego, because of your ego, arrogant kind of attitude. People tekan you, argumentative. People will tekan you. But if you keep quiet, listen, and how to make good, how to move on, ah. And the way we talk, the way we interact, kindness, then things start to change. Things will start to change straight away. You know, a simple gesture, buy coffee, or tea, or fruits. If your boss is a lady, buy fruits. If your boss is a man, you must see, drink coffee or drink tea. It's not carry ball. Huh? <laughs> it's not sakha, sorry. Because we want to practice generosity towards the other person. We want to practice goodness. We want to Bring our hand out first. If you want to hold on to your ego, why should I? Huh? Why should I? After no face, no. I still want your face, then the, the face will bust. But if you know how to lower your ego, never mind. Lah. You know, we want to make, I want to make this place that is full of animosity into a place of brotherhood. Sister who plays can or not? I try the Buddha's teaching. I want to test out whether the Buddha teaching is applicable in our modern life society or not. Yes, you cannot contest if you are willing to submit. You are willing to do it to lower your ego, your attachment to your views. Then. Thing will work out. You know, we can get a mediator to talk it out. People like gangster and no, gangsterism. Let's talk about gangsterism. Eh? Gangsterism. Now don't have la. last time gangsterism. There is misunderstanding only. Uh. <clears throat> then we get one medi mediator to come in. You know, mediate. Oh, yeah, misunderstanding. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, shake hand, one coffee, uh, some food, uh, become brother already. Even gangster, you know, people they can settle, settle their grudges using this way. You see? But in Buddhism, uh, the Buddha's teaching, the Buddha always encouraged the four Brahma Vihara, uh, loving kindness, compassion. Uh, sympathetic joints and equanimity. 
this will be our way out to our problem on anger. Uh, on anger. Uh, we try to look at the good side of a person. Maybe that person, you know, the way he talk, very harsh, no. But it's damn good hearted, no. So based on that, nah, okay la, okay la, chin chai la. Ah, chai. <laughs> but sometimes this fellow, eh, he talks very sweet, but his heart, oh, damn cruel. <laughs> so how? So if you're a person who are practicing, eh, want to test out the Buddha's teaching on yourself, you should practice patient forbearance. Why? Because you not only confronting the other party, you're actually <coughs> giving the, the other party an opportunity to realize his own fault. How long are you going to take? Never mind. Take it like a test. Take it like a test. Then, this is what we call practicing of the Dharma will be interesting. If your practice of Dharma is everything very smooth, very smooth, where got excitement? You must have some quarreling, some shouting here and there, then you, ah, they say, hmm, tuo zi, tuo cai ma. <laughs> right? Everything so good, so good, then, wei chi kek. Life must be like that. Life is like that, let me tell you. Life is like that. You see? When you get harder, then don't retrieve. Never retrieve. You see? Our policy, die, die. The most die only. You see? But you die without retrieving. You die with good deeds. You have all these good deeds with you. Why you worry? You're practicing the Buddha's teaching. Eh? We're practicing patience, which a lot of people don't want to practice. Forbearance. A lot of people, they don't practice. An eye for an eye, this is what we are practicing. You will say this after the can you whack you back. Uh. Uh. And this is why, because why? Ego. What prompts you to be like that? Your ego. Your ego, your attachment to your view prompted you to be like that. That you cannot give him, you give him no face. Ah, no face. Or, or they will, you, you give in an inch. They will take you and yard. Normally, you will, you will think this way. And in the end, who suffered? You suffered. Mentally, already, you are encouraging this unwholesome thought, unskillful thought. And because of the impact of this kind of unskillful thought, unwholesome thought, the impact on you, we call it emotions. You don't tell me you feel very good. You feel then cheese off. Shit, man. Ah, <laughs> normally you shit. Yeah? I go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come back again. Then you start to smile and nothing happened. But inside, wow, a lot of hole already. Bullet hole. Yeah? Then you cry and cry, go back home, cry and cry. Tomorrow, how? Huh? Tomorrow, how? Huh? I don't know. So huh? You see? Cannot. Just tell yourself, okay, smile. Never mind. You work, work smart. Work smart. If you know that these people, they have all this animosity, sometimes it's your karma. Certain people, they got very bad karma. You know? Uh, inside the group of people, they, because of your ego, because of your, the way we talk, the way we present, we create a kind of, a lot of animosity. You know, those people, people like that, if you are very humble, uh, very humble, down to earth, very polite, easy going, they like you. Oh, this fellow very shocked to stay. But if you're very calculative, uh, kacang putih also cannot. Ah, I tell you. Then you will suffer. Everything, you'll be very tense. And you can't relax. You can't relax. You go back home, you still dream. Dream of what? Quarreling. Quarreling, but always lose. You work until 
your hand shake because of the stressful mental state. You don't know how to distress because of all this kind of emotion we are experiencing in our daily life, day in, day out. No? Day in, day out. Can you imagine? No? Eight hours, 12 hours in hell. You know? Hell, you know. You yourself don't know how to be happy, peaceful, and happy. You yourself say, bloody shit, you are. Uh, all this grumbling thing inside you. How to work properly? You work because you, it's because you are getting used to it. The start of your working, the protocol, you know. You work just like that. But inside you, just like a fire burning house, burning. You don't work happy. Then how to... How to tell people to be happy must be able to work happily. You see, how to transform your workplace. Eh? That's why hands-on experience very, very important. Hands-on. Dare to change. Dare to tell yourself, never mind, I'm going to give in. I want to give in. I want to say sorry. I want to say, okay, let's stop all this nonsense. Can we talk or not? It's not... It's not Healthy for both parties, for the whole company as a whole, whole team as a whole, whole family as a whole, whole society as a whole. You see, we must be able to achieve this uh, individually. Uh, I'm not talking about bigger skill, individual. If you can do individual, okay. You know, we talk about good luck, damn good luck already. Because you're very happy. You go everywhere, you're happy. You're happy because why? You know how to handle yourself. You may be interacting with a very hostile people, but you're not going to use your ego to counter him. You just, you just, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Why are you there? Sorry, is it enough? I say sorry. I never say I'm right. I say I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Don't do ah. Uh. Okay lor. Sorry, please. <laughs> Because why? One of my guys go overtake one vehicle. I said, don't overtake, don't overtake. This is for the red color. Eh? Damn hot, his temper. His color is really red. <laughs> and then we go overtake his car. He weighs song. Eh? And then why? This fella is our fault. This fella is a very down to earth. He follow the car, follow, follow. Then we overtake. No? And then, wow, you know. How dare you? I waited for so long, you know, just chuck to my front like that. Wow, he come out, I want to fight. Nah. So I keep apologizing, sorry, sorry. This, this kid, nah, I think got not enough sleep. Nah. <laughs> you know, very, very, you know, young boy like that. Nah. Sorry, nah. uncle, sorry. Why wow, you score, you score, you score. Sorry, 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 please, sorry, please, sorry, sorry, sorry. We are wrong, please, we are sorry. And after that, don't do it again. Sorry, we won't do it again. <laughs> ah, then? then he also like, mm. ah, okay, he scored, then he shook already. Yeah? <laughs> nah, he don't score anymore. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> if I were to exercise my right, my ego, you are used to my ego, what? Want to fight? Ah? Ah, <laughs> ah, right? Then you will fight, right? This is how, this is how quarrel Escalate. From quarry escalate, land punctures, all kind of things will happen. So it's, it's very, very important. Know how to say sorry and accept your fault. It's our fault. I say it's our fault. I know it's our fault. Sorry. But a lot of people, they don't do that. They don't even want to put out the hand. I used to tell my brother, put out your hand. My brother, why? I said, put out your hand. Because I look at the mirror, I know that follow them angry with him. I say, just put out a hand. He put a hand. I say, his face changed right away. He want to overtake or just put out a hand. Hello? I say, people like that. You have the manners to say, please, can I, can you lead me the way to let me go first? Normally people like that, oh, please, please, go, go. They just jab me like that. Oh, this bloody shit come from where? Them root no this brother. Human being are like that. Because we have what? Ego. We have greed, hatred, delusion, 
ego, attachment to our view that we, we have the right of way. How can, how dare you? Ah, you see? This is the problem. How dare you? Never mind. La. Sometimes you overtake people. Sometimes let people overtake. Ma. Got come also got go. <laughs> so no problem. Life is like that. Like, so in this way, never mind. Sometimes I, you know, I tell me, a lot of time I tell people, it's okay. Sometimes you commit certain mistake. You learn from mistake. You can get angry. Because you're not human, you're a human being. You don't get angry, something wrong with you. Something wrong is with you. You're arahan, or maybe you're blind, you're deaf, or you got no feeling, heartless. Yeah, but if you are normal human being, sarcastic word, hurting word, they come up from people's mouth. Wow. Enter your heart. Eh? Your ear never say anything. No? Your ear don't know anything. But straight away shoot into the heart. He say me no. He talk about me no. You lah. They say you can nah. But if you were to listen wisely, like the Buddha say, whatever people say, listen. What is he trying to deliver across? What is he trying to deliver across? For what purpose? How can we put to use? Ah, then in listening to a Dharma talk will be helpful to you. Will be helpful to you because it's more of a hands-on thing that is happening in our daily life. You see? Daily life. You know? Like for example, for me as a monk, in Thailand we are treated, we are treated like a king, you know? Wow, we go to the bus, people must, must stand up and let us say, Ah, Nimon, Nimon, Nimon. So very good when we come back to Malaysia. Do you better give you a damn who you your monk, so what? <laughs> you know, in Thailand, we go to Dong, we walk, huh? wow, a lot of water, water theme. You walk in Malaysia, wow, you look at water, water, so don't care about you. People just look at why you look at water. <laughs> So you see, there's different kind of culture. You see, if you're living in a lean and mean condition, you will be always on the alert or the defensive mode. And you will train yourself. You will upgrade. You won't be ignorant, neglected. Because you're in a lean and mean situation, circumstances. But if you are in the, you know, very well pampered, ah, then you will always soften, not on your gut. Like, what must I do? What for? Don't need ma. Ah, you see? Ah. So that, you see how we human being uh, is affected by this cause and condition of how we react when we are in different kind of place and because of that situations that the circumstances we encounter you can only gauge your maturity in yourself the maturity in oneself patient forbearance does it been put to use? What we call loving kindness, can we put it to use? Sympathetic love, compassion. Are we fast enough to activate it? Is our mindfulness fast enough to arrest this unwholesome thought? Ah, this is what we call practice. Huh? This is what we call practice. So whatever thing you and encounter in your life remind yourself is a very very interesting and exciting human existence we are in there's a lot of war warfare you can call it warfare no problem internal warfare not quarreling uh. Uh, internal warfare how to subduce your anger using 
your mindfulness being fast enough to arrest these thoughts as arising in you. <clears throat> you may contemplate, try to look at the good aspect of that person. You see? So that you don't feel so angry about him. Try to look at, he got a problem. He's sick. I keep telling people, you don't look at a person as a healthy person. Always look at a person, he's a sick person. When you treat a sick person, normally you will have what? Compassion. You have that kind of kindness. Sometimes I see people very rude to us. We say that, oh, this morning he never take medicine yet. <laughs> <laughs> so all my mom smile. No? At first they are very serious. They want to, oh, how come I can't do anything? He scold you like that. I say, oh, today he didn't eat yet. So straight away, the whole temple, the, the atmosphere, we release the, 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 the gas straight away, the pressure of the... You can, you can see the reaction of the people around us that they be song already, not shocked already. This fellow outsider, the road from where come, we shocked with this. I say, oh, he didn't take medicine. He said, how come you know? If a normal person, you think they would react like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem, yeah. You see the meaning? Yeah. Same thing in life. Same thing. Huh? Same thing. Whatever we encounter people who react or treat us very harshly, very unkind, a lot of ill will, even though we are so good to them, uh, they still trail like a dirt like that. Uh. Never mind. I own them. So come say. We own them, it's okay. I pay. I pay now. So next time I don't have to pay. Pay now, pay now, pay now. Ah, this is how we rationalize ourselves. So that we don't let our ego and attachment to our views to drag us now. Because what if we just activate one thought, uh, why should I? Ayo, jalat. Sure quarrel. Sure quarrel. No end. <coughs> because the other party is a hooligan. No? It's a hooligan. No reason, people. is a troublemaker. So, you know this is a troublemaker. You know ghosts are ghosts. Ghosts are the what thing? Sweet thing. Ghosts are. Huh? Those hell beings, you know what they like? Sweet thing, beautiful thing. So, you know what to do? Lord? Sweet thing, beautiful thing. Palm to them. All the sweet thing. Then they smile already. <laughs> yes, this is how we handle people you know, but in Singapore, uh, let me tell you, we lack of this skill because we are not taught to think outside the box. You think outside the box, then they say they, they cannot let uh, you encouraging corruption. No, they say look here, you are talking to ghosts. You know, you think you are talking to human being. Ah, uh, dewa, you are talking to ghosts. Gong kalang kakui gong kui wei. You talk to ghosts. You think so what? He got five precepts. Ah. He dewa. He got right view. They don't have. They are greedy people. Greedy people. Take my word. Greedy people. They only want sweetness. Some tips. That's all. Human beings are like that. But if you, if you are associating with people with virtue, you can feel it. You know, very virtual, very steady, very calm, very peaceful, very nice. The complexion very bright. But you look at the person's face, you already know, why this person is boy, man, tell you. <laughs> How to deal with these people? Yeah, this is what we call practicing Dharma must be flexibility. The application of flexibility must be there. We are practicing Dharma like, you know, my way or no way. You must have you turn, no one way ticket, bomb, head on crash. Huh? A lot of people they practice Dharma. They read a lot of books, but they cannot apply. No hands on. I know a lot of people. A lot of people. They are worried. They are worried. Hey, Manga, you all got no education, no. How you practice the Dharma? I say, nee. my Dharma is inside my heart, not inside the book. Yeah? You hungry, what you take? Food lah. You thirsty, what you take? Drink lah. 
Eh? When you got stomach ache, go toilet. Eh? When you're hot, go into a room on the aircon. Eh? You're a normal person, right? Yeah. When people don't whack you, run. Don't stand there. Then you're stupid, dumb, dumb. This basic thing, don't have to teach. Normal human being will know. But we have been, you know, they call ethics. We have been programmed. Programmed until, oh, must be this, must be that. You know? Simple thing, you know. The Buddha's teaching, Anicca Tukkang Anatta. Huh? We are born, birth, aging, yearners, death. Definitely, death. Life is uncertain. Death is certain. The Buddha said that. And because what? It's nature. Irregardless of your religion, irregardless of your race, irregardless of your <coughs> belief, we fall under this category, anicca, tukang, anatta. Huh? Impermanent. Huh? So there's nothing to contest. So in life, again, huh? we are here. We are here. And why we want to talk about something that's more substantial to Singapore? Because we are Singaporean. We know our problem here. I know our problem here. That's why I run to Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> because space, ma, called forest, you know, like Merici Reservoir. Uh, and, and, and it gives you that kind of, you know, you are engaged with nature. Your thinking is more with nature. It's more relaxed. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's not that we cannot stay in Singapore. We must stay because we can, don't know where to go unless you're very rich. If not, go to the sea, how? Stay K long, I cannot. Uh, uh, the day I was toying with this idea. You know. They thought about a lot of plastic. Uh, why not use the plastic, make a lot of float? Uh. <laughs> Guy suck all the plastic and the whole world, they make a lot of float uh, in Singapore. <laughs> then can make, start to make house that can float. <laughs> uh, this is just a thought of, you know, just a thought. Just arise when I was meditating. Uh, people are grumbling. Oh, recycle this plastic, make something good. Uh. They can benefit the, 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 the island. We are so small. Huh? But the boundary, international sea, so big. Huh? So, tonight, huh, my talk on anger is too short. Huh? Right? So I think I, I have given lots of tips. Huh? Lots of tips. And uh, my hands-on experience as a lay how we overcome this thing. And of course, the Sutta one, the Buddha say, all this thing is, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot of example quoted in the Sutta, you know, like, uh, uh, you got to look at a person. Huh? If you want to talk about Sutta, uh, he do me harm. What can I do? He do me harm. What can I do? It means you are not in a position to do anything. So, your anger will subside. He's going to do me harm. What can I do? Huh? He's going to. He's about to. So all these are so touching. So when we look at these sentences, we start to, we start to explore. Explore how these sentences can be applied to our daily life. What does it try to tell us? That means, that means, if those things that you can't solve, then we call it, leave it as it is. Because, are you in the authority to solve? No. Are you in the position that is senior enough, powerful enough to say, hey, stop it. No. So, patient, no? forbearance, no? that's the best word. This is very important. If you want win and lose, no end. Yeah. In life, if you want win and lose, huh? who win, who lose, huh? using your ego to work on things, then no end. 
But if you give and take, ah, yes, corporations, a lot of things, right? So I, what time is it? Eight thirty. Huh? I conclude my talk and uh, if you have anything, then we we can do a question and answer. I think this is a very timely topic. Very timely topic. Thank you. Um, recently, I have faced a situation like such at workplace, and I have been practicing kanti until when I then when I get sore throat, then I realize is that. It's actually probably just suppress, suppressing the anger. So then I tahan, some more tahan, tahan. Until when I when I I need to, I think it carries. I try to let go. The mind knows to let go, but it just carry on and it on. It can't let go. Yeah, it, it didn't let go. Let go is not by talking. Let go, let yeah. go. No. And it gets into the body. Then when it gets sore throats because I didn't talk about it, and I said run lah. No, no, no. You must, you must, yeah. you must. Actually, what you can do, you can have self dialogue. Talk to yourself. <laughs> you cannot learn. You don't just learn. I'll talk to myself. You know, I sat and I think, bro, I have a dialogue. You know, people talk, I go cuckoo already. But actually, no. <laughs> because this thing, how to confine people, how to talk to people. You talk to your father. Ah, they'll brush you away. Then you talk, your dad, talk to your mom, 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 my son is so bad. But how? Inside, think by itself, auto, no? Right? This thought, uh, this momentum, the thought is spin like that. So that's why mindfulness is very, very important. Mindfulness is just not it. Thinking, thinking, thinking. But if you are still in this kind of situation, uh, you got to take it all. You got to do random, uh, random. Uh. You don't always. Uh, learn, no. Deep breath. Take deep breath. For example, you know the top moment come. Take deep breath. Okay. This bad thing all go up. And you can have the kind of, of relief at that moment. But it still have memory when you come back. So that's why meditation is very, very important. When you end up, you sit, you must meditate. Meditate, be mindful on your breath, not mindful on your thinking, no. Because then painful, when you look at the top, very painful. The, the fellow shouted at you, how he humiliated you, and you got to, you know. Uh, so, but if you just watch your breath and tell yourself, you know, may I be well and happy. Just keep radiating thoughts of goodwill to yourself until you really feel the comfort on your chest base, your heart base. You really can feel the kind of fullness, you know, a form of energy, very happy, yeah. Both tap ready up there. You know? You can really feel it. Then you have the confidence to practice more. But if you have time, uh, sit a lot. Actually after so throat, uh, I I went for Dharma talk and like places that helps to regenerate the good energy. And after I go home, hey, I remember I need to call my father. After call my father, and more, <laughs> he asked me about work, so he told me about his work, a like, lot anger, like, so then, and it's like you really press the button. But still, the next day, I at the end I text at the person and talk talk it out lah. Like. And yes. then suddenly the throat better after I mara the person. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. I need to, like you talk it out, you got to talk it out. That's why I say, that's why, uh, that's why I say in, in the Buddha's teaching, they want us to hold regular meeting. Meeting. The meeting knows to go there and talk. And talk about, okay, do we have any problem? No? Not only work problem, no. 
relationship problem, workers' relationship problem. Normally, the problem lies, work problem, small problem. It's a relationship problem, human problem. You know, can you imagine? You know, before I go to Makana, my oven was 375, come back 500. Wow, everything smoked. I said, hey, wow, my tento loin, that, that, that beef, huh? I come back, oh, my chef will kill me today. It was very good that day, my chef never shouted at me. He said, never mind, change you. I said, oi. <laughs> you know, someone sabo me. When I go for my lunch, they turn out the oven, 500. I put 375 before I left for my lunch. I come back and say, how come my oven got a lot of smoke? No? I say, I open up all black color, the whole beef. I say, oh, yeah, why sabo me? Why? Why? I don't offend you. Why? Four against one. I don't run, I tell them. I take you on. I take you on. But very painful, la, like what you say, very painful. Every night I cry. Cry for a while only. When the tears come out, I pity myself. I pity myself. I talk to myself. Never mind. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. <laughs> yeah, Venerable Ajahn Chan, Ajahn King, thank you very much. She's asking a question. Okay, do it. Her, her question is, can a female attain arahan? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Why? Because in the Theragatha, 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 the Katha means the, the, the saying of the ladies, the Theri, Theri means those elders that has observed more than 10 years and, and above. We call it Thera. Thera is monk. Theri is lady. Arahan, a lot. Even Thailand, we have met Chikau. A preceptor only. Her bone, oh yo, I saw her bone before. Crystal. Crystal white. Because my, 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 my teacher, my Patimoka recitation teacher is, is her student. So when, he, when she passed away, my teacher got to in charge to cremate her. And then to keep her ashes. So she keep, uh, he keep one, one big uh, urn inside his room with a cost tape. Uh. No one there to open. But because of curiosity, I go and do uh, cleaning for his room. I say, what is that? Uh? And then I can't read Thai. <laughs> do not touch. So I tell her, what is that? <laughs> the cost tape. Lucky, good also, I cannot read Thai. So I take out, Tung, I say, what is that? Then the monk come and say, hey, cannot touch, cannot touch. Say, what thing? I say, oh, very nice. Oh. <laughs> what? He jumped and jumped. I say, you come in earlier, I don't have chance to see you. <laughs> Lucky I don't know how to read that. <laughs> so, don't worry. If you practice sila samadhi panya, every human being got the tendency uh, never underestimate that, uh, no, nah, we all, this, this modern time, no more, not true. If you dare to put in this, I use the word gamble. See, swa. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you, uh, Venerable Ajahn King. Okay, my, my question is similar to the lady there. You're lucky that you can last one and a half years with a very nasty person. But not most of, most of us cannot last that long. So if we if we go into a job and we like the job, but just because of this one person uh, that is going to make trouble for you, can we change him to be on our side faster? Maybe one month, not ten, not not one and a half years, like, You know. <laughs> so is there any way to sort of the Buddha never asks you to change other people. <laughs> the Buddha always say, change yourself. But cannot tahan one and a half years, is it? <laughs> you cannot tahan. You he never asks you to tahan, what? You got leg to walk out, you walk out. Lo. But you like the job. You like the job, put tall. <laughs> yes, I just put tall. The minute, eh, every day I meditate, you know, every day. My sitting is three hours. 
It's a lousy sitting, but I make it a vow that I must sit three hours every day. Sometimes speed shift. I will go to Singapore Buddhist Missionary at Ballester Road to sit for the two, three hours. Also good. You know, charge your battery. Then sometimes I come back home, eh? 11 o'clock. No. Wow. Hectic. Whole, whole day very hectic. I, after taking the bath, I said, quick, quick, go and meditate. But slopper and topper, la, toku. La. <laughs> but I just. A lot of people say, you cannot, just sitting like, like buying time. I say, but it's my vow. I cannot break my vow. It's a kind of good habit you're in building, instilling yourself. Satcha barami, satcha. The truth in yourself. You must speak the truth. Be truthful to yourself. And that is a very powerful element in your character that you, can, you will do things and you will succeed. The truth. The truth always reveals the truth. Huh? Don't give in to... You see, what he say or what he's trying to do to you it's just an action, just a word. He never punch you, right? He doesn't punch you. He just use the word. He said, oh, he never take medicine today. Okay, lah. <laughs> today never take medicine. So I give medicine. Kopi, lah. Roti prata, lah. If a lady boss give fruits, lah. Then at first she don't want. No, yeah. Then after, not bad, lah. Ah, okay, ready. <laughs> you, must, you must be able to Lower your ego. I'm not so attached to your thinking. Then things can work out. Every time, my way or no way, then no way. You can't solve problem because only my way or no way. Everybody got ego. So in the end, any place you go, within the house, quarrel. Brother and brother, quarrel. Brother and sister, quarrel. Father and mother, also quarrel. You see? Then because Sometimes, these parents, they are more forgiving. You see? Last time, nah, those old, 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 old people, they are more forgiving. They know how to, one side pull, one side, Ela, Ulo, one side pull, you know, not always win. You know why? Until now, they can be very lovely couple until now. My parents, my mother, them fears. My father, uh, every day got scolded, pa, 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 my father. So to me, as a son, I say, how come my father like something like no bone like that, but good key? Yeah? <laughs> he say one word now. He say, if I hit back, uh, the whole family pacha, who look after you all? I say, wow, very great father. You see? And then people like that, you give him an inch, they'll take it, attack. And then we all sign, we all know what to do. But I want anything, I tell my mom, I never tell my father. <laughs> Ma, I want to buy this. Huh? Mm. Hey, buy for him. <laughs> ah boy, don't use this static. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Okay, uh, Ajahn, we have two questions here. Uh, question number one, Bante, please advise how to transfer marriage to the deceased friend during Katina rope ceremony. Thanks. Okay, in the Buddha's teaching, we you always you don't have to wear the Katina la. In fact, every day, <laughs> if the person die now, you don't wear the Katina. November, <laughs> too long. Don't need now. For example, the person die already now, pop straight away, we, we chant. You chant. You chant. And then you say verbally, I'm going to do a Sankhika Dana for you. Then you go to the temple and offer to the monk. You know, and transfer marriage to the deceased. Uh, it's more, uh, you know, uh, faster. Then you wait until Gathina. Wow, like the, like the ghost during the Pimpisara time, you remember? The King Pimpisara story. And the ghost got to wait until the four Buddha come. First Buddha, second. Four Buddha, then you can get the merit. Because of the karma this person 
this group of people committed very heavy karma. Uh, so normally we, what we do in Katina, we just don't have to wait in the uh, If anyone die, you just do a patitana. That means a transfer of marriage to him by chanting uh, food, medicine, ropes. We, what we call basic requisite to the deceased. And of course, uh, if you know that what kind of food he like, uh, you offer that kind of food. Very few, uh, very few people will be reborn in the heavenly beings, uh, mostly on this kind of these beings. Inside Chinese, we have this kind of praying. Right? Uh, but we Buddhists, we don't uh, encourage so much on this type of things. You see, but if you ask me if there's a assistant this type of thing, yeah. but if you got precept, uh, then that's different. Precept. If you have dana, sila, and pavana, oh, the best. Put top out. Huh? Okay, yeah. Uh? Did I answer your question? Uh, que second questions. Please advise us as a lay people, which type of chanting can we use? For deceased friend and relative during death anniversary. You mean you all want to chant yourself? <laughs> right? Okay, there's a set formula. La. I don't have the book here. I need a book in, the, in order to tell you which, which are the things you should chant. It's the Abhidhamma, la, Abhidhamma chant. Gosala, Dhamma, Gosala, Dhamma. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a, a showcase now? We have three months <laughs> here. We call it the seven set of chanting, very short chanting. It's a kosala. Normally in Thailand, our Thai tradition, we use the Chinese one. This kind of chanting uh, for, for the deceased. For the disease, and there was question that was thrown to me uh, recently that uh, in our Buddhist belief, you know, we believe that once a person dies straight away, he reborn. So is it is it uh, still we must do this kind of uh, transfer of merits, this kind of things? I said, of course, don't try to be better than the Buddha. The Buddha say you must the deceased relative must on appropriate occasion do transfer of marriage to the deceased. Sometimes we read a lot of books. No? We are so knowledgeable. We start to have doubts. Eh? Then what for we do? <laughs> but you got to refer back. The Buddha said, yes, you must do. Not only this lifetime relative, because as a human being, that's the best <coughs> Rams uh, to do all these good deeds. They were too happy already. Too much sensual pleasure that they forget. You know? In the hell, too painful. Human being only. And then human being so many lifetimes, no? a lot of our kaki waiting for us. No? A lot. And then certain people say, after I transfer me, how come more and more come to see me? Those people got very good antenna. Uh. <coughs> They say, good what? Because you got a lot of merit. Uh. You just a big tree. A lot of small birds will come. Because this big tree is cold. Then the tree got no leaf. What? Where got bird to go? No fruits, right? A big tree. Got a lot of fruits. A lot of leaves, very cooling. So a lot of birds will go and take shelter there. Same thing. If a lot of ghosts come and find you, uh, good luck to you. Uh. Good because uh, you got merit. Don't say, oh, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. A lot of people say, don't want. Ah, cannot. Ah, don't worry. I don't bore. Bante, I have a question. I feel that nowadays when I read news, I can feel a lot of defilements. I feel that nowadays media are really, they, uh, they're creating a lot of uh, 
conflict sometimes uh, spreading hatred. Also, uh, sometimes if I read news like what's going on in Hong Kong, I see it's okay. Tension. Yeah, I feel a lot of anger in me. So it's okay. Don't read. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot read with wisdom. Don't read. Yep, but yeah, so we we cannot avoid because uh, I read, I read, I read, but I'm not affected by what I read. I read. I say, see how this greed, selfish people receiving money, creating destruction for the innocent people. That's all. I read, wow, see how this greed, hatred, delusion has been manipulated by some, some behind, we don't know who, playing politics. They say everything is, they come by themselves. Uh, Japaka Inga come by themselves. They are paid. I was in Thailand for the past 32 years, in and out of Thailand. Every four or five years, coup cool d'etat. They are paid. All are paid. One day, 300 baht. Three meal provided. They got car to come and send food. Good food, you know. Yes, good food. Then if you're kampong folks, jobless people, you don't go, sure go. Sure go. 300 baht to a person is very, a lot of money. Stay at home, zero. Can't earn anything. I just put a t-shirt, hey, hey, hey. 300 baht, why not? Not dangerous, all right? Ask me to put on this sign, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> One day, 300 baht, one month, 9,000 baht, no? Right? So, it's like that. But again, this is human. We live in the world of we must know how to differentiate good and evil, right and wrong. Okay? What is right, what is wrong? Don't read. If you know that you cannot control your emotion, don't read. Go and see cartoon, do see those uh, <laughs> see fashion, food better. Serious, serious. This is how you still read. But you see some other thing, like nonsense. you just tell yourself, nonsense, I'm not going to read nonsense. That's all. That's all. I read, I start to think, mm, see, how these people work. Ready? No, it's going to escalate. Escalate. At first it's umbrella, then now it's firebomb. It's escalate. Now start to stab the policeman already, recently. They escalate already. Uh, so, the, my question is more about my. <coughs> so, if I see. A bunch of people, for example, beating an old person, right? I feel a lot of sympathy towards the victims, but at the same time, I feel a lot of aversion, aversion or sometimes anger towards the people who are doing the bad deeds. So my question is that this kind of aversion, is it still con considered a defilement or is this... Uh normal. <laughs> you are a normal person. Yeah. You are a normal person because you are not an Arahan yet. You see, this thing will arise, but it doesn't react. You don't react. You just know that, you know, okay. You must know how to, you must know. We human being is made out of these five khandhas. This body of ours, this feeling, these perceptions, you see, this analytical mind that can think, that can decide things, and this consciousness that know. If this thing doesn't operate, you only have what? Only the mind state. Body and mind, right? Okay, how are you not going to react? Because you look at the thing, there's good and bad, ma. You read certain things and you are knowledgeable, you understand what has been said. The reaction is <laughs> dissatisfactory, not happy about it. How can they beat the old person? At the same time, somehow still is what's happening is you feel sympathetic to these old people. At the same time, you can whack you and whack you now, but cannot. Uh, too big for me. <laughs> but this is normal. This is what we call you are a normal person. Now, mindfulness come in. You are mindful enough to arrest the arising of this kind of thought. That's why you can perceive that this thing is arising in me. Like and doesn't like, dislike, but you still 
okay. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. But you can see these khandas doing their job. Eye contact, thought arising, feeling arises also. But you leave it there because you're not in a position to do anything, right? So you see that I can only feel sympathetic to this old man and feel very angry with this group of people. Why you do that? And that's all. Okay? You're normal. Eh? <laughs> Thank you. It's defilement, of course. If you react, all got defilement. But we don't react. We just perceive and, oh, this, I still have this defilement. So if you don't have this thing, then don't read all. <laughs> okay. Okay, Ajahn, I got two questions here. The first question is asked in Chinese. Huh? In Chinese. <coughs> Come, I can read, I can read. Fasi Wan Sang Hao. Roman Suo, Shue Fo, Shue the Tui, Su Yue. Tui. Sto 不做都只说不做都不想跟人为伍 这个是一个新的状况 你要问自己,OK,你讲放下,你跟我打坐,六个小时不要动,他放不下了,他会发死的。Ajana, okay? <笑> I'm asking on behalf of someone. See, I see my rabbit is dying soon. Who? Oh. Rabbit, rabbit. Oh, rabbit. <laughs> I'm asking on, on behalf of someone. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what should I do? After dying, if I throw away the uh, uh, the body in the dustbin, isn't it a cruel deed? How should I dispose it? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, actually, the rabbit is sure to die. La. <laughs> now the problem is, you look after until you really die. So when you die, uh, <coughs> the rabbit won't come and run after you. <laughs> Same like our body, if we die. Have you ever seen ever any human body that go to Banda and <laughs> don't burn me? No, right? Or come out, become bone. Or Kwa Ming San. It's just a separation of earth, wind, water, fire. This four elements live. That's all. <coughs> Now, if you want to dispose it properly, I think you can hire a, a 
cleaner, <coughs> go to under the tree near your house, ah, dig a hole, bury it, become fertilizer. Then you can still remember my rabbit is buried here. None. <laughs> okay. Uh, <coughs> okay, one more question here. When anger and animosity is on a personal level, it can be more easily resolved. What if it's on a large scale, like in Hong Kong? I already, you see, this is a political, political uh, motivated things. You see? It's beyond normal people like us uh, to handle already. It's beyond already. Right? Just pull the plug only. Just tell ourselves we're in Singapore, better don't think like them enough already. Yeah. It's not that we are selfish or we were, you know, who are we? <laughs> I, let me share one, one experience with you all. <clears throat> There was this group of people. There was this group of people. They tried to, you know, not, not say uprising uh, to, to voice up their dissatisfaction over uh, another country's government of doing things. And they tried to put out t shirt. Damn Tian Zhen, no. Lucky I come back. <coughs> I come back. So I asked my committee member, I said, what's up? You're crazy or what? He said, oh, we must help this and help that. I said, help what? United Nations is out there, can't do anything. Who are you all? He said, oh yeah. <laughs> you see, we are like that. No? Sometimes we, read, we consume too much news. We are taken away emotionally by the news, which is fabricated news, not real thing. So back to your body, remember, don't go and see too much. You know, I read all this news, I read. I read on how greedy people can channel their greed in what way. That's all. And how can we use this type of thing as a teaching aid to relate things to you all? I'm not being stuck inside, no. When I read things, why this thing happen? I throw question. I don't read and follow what is you know, fit into me. No. I read, then I think about it. If a normal person, you think they would do it? They won't do it. If I'm not paid, oh, they are paid. Freedom? What kind of freedom? No. Uh, so somebody behind is paying money to create unrest, create havoc, that's all. To vent their unhappiness over certain things which maybe they are, they are fighting for a project and this fellow cannot then this thing happened no? I may be right, I may be wrong but this is politics this is I hope it doesn't happen in Singapore no? it mustn't happen in Singapore you see don't be brainwashed no. uprising will create what uprising Upright the pocket, uh, the politician pocket. Yes, we are everything okay. What for? We want to go crazy, can change thing, change, change what thing, change what thing. I saw a lot of cool data. Half of my life, no, I'm in Thailand. I saw, oh yo, I don't see anyone come out alive or what. Innocent people shot, being victimized, 300 baht. Kampong folk don't know anything, get trained but then they go. Hey, 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 They didn't know life bullet waiting for them. They won't follow down it all run like run all run. Scared to shit, man. I say, how ah hey? oh, because one of my driver who drive me eh, from Thailand to Singapore, <coughs> he also went into the protest. He said because driving taxi earn lesser, this one earn more. <laughs> I say, how much they pay you? One thousand baht. To 2,000 baht, they can stay hotel, how nice is it? What? I said, better don't go after you cannot bullet. Ah, his friend cannot shot. He was driving for me to Singapore. His friend got shot in Bangkok. Hey, I drive for you. If not, I'm so <laughs> To them, it's a livelihood. You know, hire protester. Right? Yeah. 
Anything else? Any more questions? No? Size. Uh, thank you, Arjun. Uh, I was thinking of... Later, later, someone. She's asking, what is the way to Arahanship? Oh, don't, don't ask this one. Uh. You observe pre five precepts first. Five precepts first. Meditate. You observe five precepts first. You don't have to so suffer one. You don't worry. The more you push yourself, uh, the more pain will come. <coughs> pain until you want to... <laughs> this one, people don't talk about how practice seen see la observe the if you want to become like that I must uh, practice a precept you know what's a precept uh, whole life no? <laughs> whole life must stay alone no <laughs> ah must stay alone you must be able to must be able to stay alone <coughs> And then you you got to practice all this restraint, meditate a lot. Hmm. Yes, any other thing? Just now there's some someone. Uh, hi, uh, I want to ask because uh, one of the suggestion that you gave is uh, when we face when we face people with issues, right? We will like uh, point to that person and say, ah, the person didn't eat medicine and things like that. So my question is. Uh, Will it make us like very arrogant so that it's always other people's fault instead of my fault? Oh no 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 no. You you mistaken me. <laughs> no. 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 You know why? Because <coughs> when I say, oh this person didn't take medicine. Because he's very fierce. He coming, you know, like very rude. Uh. Very rude. And then there's gonna be a fight. So he must is the situation right? Say, oh, no, 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 he never take medicine. So they say, oh, okay, maybe he's xiao. You know. He's angry, that's why he's xiao. Ma. I'm not talking about fault. No. Fault is another thing. For example, someone do, you, maybe you're the supervisor, right? Maybe. La, huh? <coughs> then your subordinate do certain thing wrong. It's your duty to pinpoint, hey, you do this thing, huh? you correct. Huh? Okay, okay. Not, not, not a fault finding, fault finding. There are some that is fault finding, you know, never wrong. Also, this wrong, that wrong. You know, just just want to find fault only. Let you redo the whole thing. You say, oh, I want to go back redo everything. <laughs> you know, that one is fault finding. So you must differentiate these two things. And again, <clears throat> the Buddha never tell us to look at others or correct other people. Ourselves. Correct ourselves. You know, all those thoughts we have, shortcoming we have, we correct. We correct ourselves. Huh? Uh, that is the Buddha's teaching. But if you are in an organization, you're in certain position that you got to decide things, then it's your duty to supervise, to instruct, to give ideas, to correct people. It's your duty, you know. It's your duty. You cannot say that ah, they know they know what to do, really. Cannot lah. They know what to do. After all, cock up anyhow. Cannot. You must still see. You know, keep an eye. Keep an eye. Keep an eye. Okay. Any more questions? Yes. At the end of your experience, you when they when they when they give you opportunity to go overseas, overseas yeah. uh, then you decided to let go of that situation. So the question is, how do you know um, when how much to to be in a situation when you tahan or, or clear your karma, or when you, you <coughs> when is the situation when you should actually remove yourself from the condition? 
Okay. <coughs> because in life, everybody go for your post. You must have a target, ma. Okay. You must be up there. Right? Everybody is fighting, no? About 12 person fighting for this post, no? So the department I'm in, uh, four against one, no? I'm the youngest I go in, no? Oh, 15 year, 12 year inside the hotel. I'm the youngest I go in, but because of my work attitude, I never claim OT. I know tomorrow I got to come in and do this job very early. I better do today. They say, go back, la, before you still stay behind it. I'm doing my job. No OT, what you do? They say, what's wrong with you? So I take my, I do some other place. Right? This is work attitude. A lot of people, they doesn't like. They say you, what, sell on. Uh. <laughs> you know? Because we're army, they sell on. <laughs> it's not sell on. It's, this is my job. Because we are dedicated to our job. You know, like the gentleman said, I like my job. I like your job. I like my job. And then when we hit, okay, everybody want this. We get ready. Okay, resign. Oh, the whole hotel go crazy. Everybody want, he don't want. You see, your one also cannot get. I want, but I don't want. <laughs> ah. Until my, sh my, my chef, oh, la, 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 la. I think you're too stressful. You take a three month no pay leave. Go and do whatever thing you want. Go, go, go. I say, no, chef. I have enough. I have enough. I say, no. Not enough. You, not enough. I, enough. <laughs> so it's very individual. It's very individual. Until now, same thing. Everything that I have, eh, I never I give away. A lot of people, they want it, but I give away. Because my ex-life, my ex-lifetime, I'm a monk. <laughs> so this kind of condition has a right condition in me, in one person. Is That's why I said, never. Uh. Okay? Can we have one more last question? No? Okay. No questions. Then. Good, good. Transfer of merits. Come. I mean, <coughs> so we'll do transfer of merits. No, no. They're we'll do transfer shine. of merits. <coughs> ah, do transfer of merits. Ya ta wari waha pura pari purenti sakarang e wa me wa ito tinang pe tanang upaka patit i chitang pari tang tum hang ki pa me wa sami chatu sape purendu sangkapa chando pana raso ya ta mari jodi raso ya ta sape tiyo viva chando sapa rogo vina satu Mate Baba Mantra Yosu Kiti Kayu Go Pawa Abiwa Dana Sile Sanichang Wutta Pachai No Chataro Dhamma Vadanti Ayu Wano Sukang Ba Lang Pawa Dusa Pamangala Rakan Dusa Bade Wata Sapa Buddha Nupawe Nasada Soti Pawan Tute Pawatu sa pamangala rakan tu sa bade wata sapatamma nu pawe na sada so te pawan tu te pawatu sa pamangala rakan tu sa bade wata sapasangka nu pawe na sada so te pawan tu te